Where, where are we? I think, yes, I think this is it. Uh, what's it? <gasps> Olivia, Jesus. <sighs> I can't believe this. We were this close to being done, to being saved, and you had to make everything worse. Sorry to disappoint you. Olivia, Sunken can't help you. You couldn't help me. You quit. We could have had everything we wanted if you just kept to the plan. The Cantaloa crewmen would have... I know. I know. I thought they would help me. Olivia, stop. Come on. This is over. Is it? Where the hell are we? We're still between things. We've pushed back the sunken and systemized the portal. And that's good. That's what we want, but someone still has to lock it from the other side. I did it myself many years ago. It's how I got stuck. How my friends and I got stuck. Someone has to tune the portal from within the time stream. Or it will never close. And consume us all. What are you talking about? Whoever closes this portal. Wait, there's absolutely no other way? Someone has to be on the other side to do it? On the other side of this portal, you'll be between spaces. Because of how the Sunken and me and my friends entered, we didn't have the choice. We became stuck in the moment of our accident. But it can be a gift. Olivia, you can be with your parents again. Forever. But it's not real. It was real. And that could be enough. But you'd also be trapped in that space of time for eternity, like you are. I understand this isn't for everyone. But I have a feeling it's for someone. And Riley, you should know because it matters for this. Rex and you, it doesn't end well. I've seen a lot of versions of you while waiting and looking, and you guys are gonna have a lot of good days. I mean, years of them. Just someday, the two of you will hit a wall too tall to climb, and too long to walk around. And I know you know exactly the kind of situation I'm talking about, don't you? What situation? Like me and my dad. Yeah, like you and your dad. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but I'm the only one that can. I built that antenna. I built that antenna. I studied the websites. I called the experts. I, I stole countless books from the library. I communed with you when no one else could. I am the goddamn hero of this goddamn story and I am going into that portal. Fine. I'm fine with that. I mean, I can't choose Riley because I think it would be so much worse if she and Rex never had any days at all than it would if one day they have a big falling out and that's it. I can't really ask um I ought to remember his name Jacob. I can't really ask Jacob to do it and even if I could he's never going to be anything except the guy who fixes stuff if he gets trapped in there forever. And maybe one day Olivia's gonna go tra crazy trapped in that one moment like the crew of the Catalonia is, but for a little while she'll get to be with her parents again, which is why she did all this. So for me, tempting though it is to make a different choice to the one I made the first time, I don't care if you don't understand. It's what I need to do. You're 16, Olivia. You can't even sign a contract to work at the donut shop without your guardian's permission. You really think I'm gonna let you throw your life away? 
You know what I think? I think you want to care about me, but don't. My parents, you have no idea what they meant to me. And I am not giving up the chance to be with them again. You chose me for a reason. I did. Your future is cloudy and uncertain, and you wanted this so badly. I thought I could live with myself if we switched. But maybe that was just mania acting for me. No, you didn't talk yourself into this. What do you mean her future's cloudy? Honestly, Riley, I can't put it any other way. Well, it's Riley's decision who goes in. Why? She has the radio, and it was always going to be like this. Always. Riley, you have a kid on the way. You really want to be stuck in a past moment forever? I want this! Quiet. Let her think. You're really letting me go? I guess she is. Why? Maybe she saw in you. Olivia, who am I to stop you, honestly? If you want to do this, if you really want to do this, go ahead. Olivia, tune the portal closed. What? I'm going to see my mom and dad again. I mean, it's actually going to happen. It's going to actually happen. I did it. Look, Riley, I don't have to say thank you, and we're not hugging. Just be a good mom. To your son. Say hi to your parents for me. Hello, uh, Fear the Meerkat here, welcome to the final episode of... No, wait, already done this, never mind, can't have it out. <gasps> okay, we're here again. Riley? Are you there? Evelyn? Is this a... a loop, again? What day is it? What day is it? Oh, uh, I don't know the date. Actually, my phone can't sync anymore since I dropped it in oatmeal. This is just the next day check-in. Leslie's really happy with the work you did. The transmitters, you know, their placements seem perfect. Negligible scratch. I know it wasn't the most interesting work day, but the, uh... Our environmental research staff is gonna be psyched when they hear how clear the cuckoos are coming through. The bird calls are perfect. Not a lot of interference. Cuckoos? Huh? That's what the study is for. Cuckoos are endangered in Oregon, and this will help track migratory patterns and help us get a sense of their nesting range. Hopefully get them off the endangered list, if it's warranted. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you think about it, um, since... Yeah, basically everything simply didn't happen, I think. With the loop being closed, it means that all of the stuff like Alex's, Alex and her friends being trapped, for example, it never happened because it's been undone, if you see what I mean. It's the timey-wimey thing. Anyway. We're shuffling projects and need to know before Leslie walks out the door. If you'd be willing to sign up for another job next month. You are one of our better researchers. And it'd be the same deal, basically. Just planting test equipment. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I'll, um, I'll think about it. Uh, okay. Give it a think. Sounds good. Well, thanks for everything, Riley. I think you can pick up your check at the campus admissions office. Alan! Where uh, are okay. you going? Sounds good. It Give was nice to meet second. you, Evelyn. Take care, okay? Thank you. It was really nice to meet you too, Riley. Have a good rest of your visit. Over and out. The first thing I heard this morning 
It was my mom calling up to me from the kitchen to take out the trash. I slept in a little, I guess. Do you hate me? Mm. I think out of the two, Alex is much nicer than the crew of the Kanaloa have become now. They may have been nice people once, but yeah, they were willing to destroy everything. Alex just wanted a straight swap with someone who kind of wanted to be trapped in a loop as long as she was trapped in a loop with her parents. No, I... I don't hate you. You can. I'm not your kid. But... Uh, thank you. Riley, I may come off to you differently, but I really don't know how any of this stuff works. Things are here again, though. You did that. I'm here. My friends are here. All the people of Kamina? None of them have been taken over by the vengeful ghosts of a sunken submarine. And you're here, thinking about Olivia. She got what she thought she wanted. I just hope she's happy with it. She seemed happy. I think we'll have to live with that. Alex, come on, we're gonna be late. Yeah, just give me a minute. Yeah, they don't remember. They're better off, honestly. I'm uh, <laughs> taking AP English this year. When we went in, I was working on a paper on Dickinson. She said she, um... She never had a mother. That a mother is someone to whom you run when you're in trouble. However you end up with Rex, Riley, you fit the description. Remember that. Bye, Alex. Watch out for any, uh, for anything, really, okay? It was a lot of work to get you here. I'll be good. All right, I'll see you around, Riley. Have a good one. Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had to... Who was that? She's the mom of one of the guys in school. Oh, I'll tell you about it later. Only you would have a mom friend. Jesus. Stop talking to everyone. Sure thing. So, yeah. Oxen free is... Done. I guess. I don't anticipate there being another night game because it's uh it's finished hey athena how are you girl <laughs> hey slow down let's go talk to jacob i think she likes you She's not usually this friendly. Oh my god! Jacob, I... I... Uh, hi! Hey? Oh, I'm... still a little shaky, to say the least. I, I woke up. In bed. Just a normal Saturday. Right? It, it is Saturday, isn't it? But, uh... Phew, yeah. <laughs> Didn't know I'd ever see you again. But... Hey, man. Trust me. I'm happy to see you, too. Oh, good. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I, I was just... Two minutes ago, I was trying to come to terms with the fact that I might be the only one to remember. Oh. Uh, this is Athena's time to do her uh, business. We, we call it business time. I uh, need to apologize for not offering myself to the portal. I wouldn't have even said anything, but I knew it was always going to be Olivia. She... Just needed it. For her, this was never gonna end. No need to apologize, Jacob. I understand. Nobody, not even Olivia, wants that. And besides, it wasn't your responsibility to have to do that. It shouldn't have been anyone's. Yeah, well, thanks for that. I don't know if I fully believe you, but, um, thanks. I think you probably like to be a bit of a lone wolf, but you're a good friend, Riley. 
personally speaking, you're my best friend, really. Kind of by default, but still. You're a good friend, Jacob. I'm sure Maggie could attest. And now I can too. You know, we meet all these people while we're around, and we bond, and we fight, and we argue, and we come back together, and some of them, you'd risk destroying a planet just to spend one more goofy day with them. But not being able to, that's what makes it important. Yeah, yeah, I, I actually agree there. Oh, you a actually agree. <laughs> well, good. The other night I had a dream. I was talking to my grandmother about something, I don't know, but we were watching TV, her old black and white in her living room. It was just white noise, and she said something to me about waves, about the ocean, how it was eternal, like time itself. And when I woke up, I felt comforted by that. I think that's all you can do in the face of it, be comforted. Or... <clears throat> Hi, sorry. Hi. If you're listening to this, my name is Alex, but that doesn't matter much. You don't know me. You've never heard of me. You never will. But I know Riley. And... She's a unique person. I'm sure you know that too. What you probably don't know is that she helped me out in a really big way recently. And the only thing I can think of to do to pay her back is to send you this package. It's um, a, a collection of things that will hopefully give you a clearer picture of just who Riley is and the immense effect she's had on people's lives. I don't know. When you get through everything, I left a note at the bottom. Okay. Oh, and the... Thank you. So this must be for Lex. Do you still think about Olivia? Uh, yeah. All the time. Yeah, me too. What, uh, what do you think about? Oh, just everything, I guess. Was it a good thing that Riley let her go? If she's happy where she is? If she's even anywhere? Riley says she's probably happy. She saw memories of Olivia when everything was going on. She says she picked her for a reason, that she deserved to go. I'm just glad Riley was there, so she wasn't alone. <sighs> yeah, me too. Um, I guess... I'm, I'm not actually sure what this is. I guess this is a... a parenter's mask. There are three of them. Maybe the Olivia and the other two people. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to, do, mean to do that. Well, I'm sorry, I guess we will not get to read what it says on the piece of paper, but... Never mind. Nothing you can really do about with these things except look at them. <laughs> Dad? We can go to the park later! <laughs> I have no idea how on earth they would manage to get a hold of this recording without going through the tear into the time loop that I think Olivia was stuck in, but never mind. Can you talk a little bit more about your gallery, the Sasquatch? 
sure? It used to be just my home office, really. The place I make my, uh, my art. But I, uh, decided to start opening it up to visitors a bit more. Or anyone who wants to see. Not a lot of people, just the hours are pretty strict. One afternoon a week, for now. I'd been pretty closed off until recently, but I've learned that people just are what they are. They come, they go. Life's just too short to worry about it, right? Then, Rex, your mom is a complicated person, like all of us, like everybody. I used to really not appreciate my stepfather. And there was a time that I hated even the concept of having a stepbrother. Relationships are hard, even the ones that are supposed to be easy, supposed to be ingrained. I don't really know what I expect you to do with all this. But just know that your mom isn't just your mom. She's not just the person who you maybe think failed you. She's a person that has a life, and that life has a lot of branches to it. And she cares about you, Rex. You were the future she didn't want to lose. And no matter what you think of her, remember that. All right. I think that's it. Oh, and the... Stay off the radio. Mm. I like what she said. Your mum is not just your mum. I think that's interesting. I have thoughts about that, but I'm not really sure how to put them into words. I guess. I guess when you're growing up, you can just think of your parents as your parents and not see all the different sides to them until you become an adult. I think that sums it up. Now, I've said before that I'm pretty certain that there isn't uh, going to be a sequel to this and that the story is done and I don't really believe that the ending meant anything when it says stay off the radio and it's just has that really weird little thing at the end. I think this is just here to scare you, I guess. But yes, I admit, I don't know for a hundred percent certain what this ending means. I just don't see how the time loop could have continued. Anyway, I guess in a minute I'm going to let you watch the weirdness and the slight spookiness. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a new Let's Play going soon, but um, this is the end of this one. I think it's been quite a good game. I wish the choices have felt like they mattered more. Um, I wish there'd been more characters, but um, apart from that I liked it. I really liked Assuming that this is correct, that we actually got to save Alex and everyone else this time. That was really nice.
Thank <laughs> you.